if you recorded me, I was like, you better delete that right now. Marianna Hewitt's podcast. It's like a, she does like a bunch of stuff, but it was like the healthy lifestyle one right now. But I just like walking on the beach more than the boardwalk back there because the lines on the boardwalk like make me dizzy. So, and I also feel like I might get a better leg workout when I walk on the sand because it's like harder. I'm actually starting right now. So, I'm gonna do like 30 minutes and I'm gonna go home and eat, but I just like sound the really waves. It's so calming. Okay. Look at this shell that I found you guys. It is so cool. Currently doing some shopping at Lidl. Hope you guys can hear me. Um, I get a lot of stuff here. I'll show you guys what my cart looks like. Here's what we're looking like. Got some almond milk, avocados, cucumber, and here's a little sneak peek at the cart, you guys. I love their light sour cream. Their dark chocolate's amazing. Those wisps are really good, like to put over a salad as like a little crouton. Cheese, we got some rice, organic eggs, Good stuff, seltzer, some meat. I get a lot of stuff in here. I get my wraps here. They And they have everything too, like every kind of, it's like food type that you can think of. And I did a whole video about them on my second channel if you guys wanna watch that. I will link it below. Ooh, I love their pickles. Their baby pickles. Baby pickles, sweet gherkins. I love. Oh, here it is. The little baby dills. These are really good. Too. Can I see me a baby shower? Here's the outfit. I did a little low pony because it's really hot outside. So outfit Like maxi skirt moment super cute high neck top. I think I got this from TJ Maxx I'm like running out the door little hoops. Let me show you guys a front view my little Dollar Tree hoops Dollar Tree clip I'm ready to go. I'm rocking the modern renaissance on the eyes today. We went old school. Hey guys, it is Monday and I wanted to vlog a little bit. Today, um, Nick's coming home probably like a half hour from work. He started a new job and um, we are actually going to go visit, well, it's a gym, but it's not just a gym. So we recently were like, we want a gym specifically Nick I've been working out at home and I don't mind it but he he like hardcore lifts weights and stuff so he's always belonged to a gym he's a trainer so we were looking for something and he was like well what about the recreation center in our town and we passed by it every single day and I was like well let's look it up on the computer and we looked at it and we're like wait this is actually really nice and <laughs> it's like a hidden gem there's like four pools um there's a gym with new equipment and lots of other stuff there's an ice skating rink like all this stuff that's closed right now but I like want to go in the pool like even after we work out so we're gonna go check it out today he's gonna pick me up and I think um, when we go there on I'll show you guys a little bit on my phone or my camera what it all looks like so you guys can see so I'm really excited about it because I 
I would love to start going to a gym, um, just have access to like machines and stuff so I could really start to do more like bodybuilding and weightlifting more because I only really have like two sets of weights at home. Wow. Cool. Look at that. That is cool. That's the indoor one. We have to see the outdoor one. Guys, here's the locker room. It's giving me 80s vibes. Does this not fit this room? Like a scene from Greece or something with all these pink things. Hey. It's definitely from the 80s. And then back there they have like saunas and stuff, but I think it's closed because of COVID, so. Hair coloring. Show you guys what I got Oliver and Gizmo from Marshalls, this kitty casita. So we had one for them that was kind of similar to this, but it was falling apart, like the rope was all untwisted. So I got them this one, it was $24.99, and I liked because it had the scratching post, this little bed up here, and also this here. So there's like three things that, that they could do with it, and there's also a toy. New kitty house, yes! Oh, it's exciting. He knows it's a toy. He knows. Got these two pairs of biker shorts from Yogalicious. This is like one of my favorite workout brands. If you're looking for an affordable workout brand, Yogalicious is amazing. The material is nice and soft, but it's not too thick. I don't like when it's too thick. So these together were about $8 each and they're nice and high waisted. So I picked these up because they're nice literally for when I go on bike rides because sometimes with the yoga pants, like your knee will kind of feel suffocated and it's hard to pedal. So with these, especially in the summer, these will be nice. For $6, it says greetings from Yosemite. And I liked it because it was so soft and it was actually a decent length. So if I wear it with leggings or with biker shorts, it would cover my butt. <laughs> so the brand is called Altered State. I hope you guys can see, I'll zoom in. Altered State and I got a size small. It's pretty oversized, but I love these kinds of like graphic tees. Hey guys, so I am waiting to leave to go to the airport because I'm going to my sister's house in North Carolina for 4th of July. I usually go every year. I'm just going for like four days, but my flight was at 8.15 and it is now delayed because it's like raining and thundering here. So I'm just kind of like waiting a little bit longer to go. So I don't have to be like sitting at the airport. Um, I'm not like checking a bag, but I did do a carry-on and let me tell you guys, my carry-on is stuffed to the max i am like a crazy packer and i need like everything with me let me know if you guys are the same like i like to have my comforts of home with me so i bring literally everything <laughs> so yeah that is crazy me i literally even bring like my cinnamon in a bag because i'm insane protein bars like everything i don't want to forget anything and i even bring my own like silk pillowcase i'm a little bit crazy but i just like to have all my stuff um not that i can't go to the store but i'm like i have specific things that i like and i need with me so yeah i'm um, just kind of doing my nails like filing my nails and um just kind of waiting around because I don't want to be sitting at the airport if it's delayed. Worse on travel days, I leave everything till the last minute. So I didn't get any like packing footage, but I'm going to take you guys with me and share with you um, my trip and hopefully some clips of what we're doing and our beach day and all that. So should be fun. Hey guys, I'm going to my terminal. Um, actually almost past it, but security was super quick. Ooh, my mask is good on this camera. Security was super quick, and I'm boarding in like 20 minutes, so not too bad. Let's see if there's people actually sitting by my thing, my gate. Hey, I would buy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he ran away. Those are cute. Oh my gosh! Look at these cute bags. She's doing kettlebell swing. Be... Ava's doing kettlebell swings in five below. Oh, be careful. Oh. Are you doing an Arnold press? That was terrible. It's so tiny. But I hit her with my accident. Are you going? Oh, we're gonna get copyrighted. <laughs> Let's cut that out.
Austin Look at the little chip cup. Do you see it from Beauty and the Beast? You like my baller Oh, pop. 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 You want your water? Jump, baby, jump. Going downstairs. We're doing fireworks right now. So excited! I'll show you guys. The charger's not coming. They're calling me. I'm coming. Coming. Kim, Kim, what? I had to go to the bathroom and then I wanted my phone was on the charger. What? I literally went away for like five seconds. Theirs is like oh, professional. Can you get that? Oh, no. On our way to the beach. Ooh, I'm blurry. We're going to the beach. Took us a while to get here, but we need it. And it's so pretty. I'll show you guys. Woohoo! What else, Pink? Um, rainbows. Rainbows? Oh, these? Oh, you won't like those. They're sunflower seeds. Are they? Weird. Those are the sunflower seeds. Wait, what about rainbow and the m and Ooh. Okay. Anything else? All done? All the throwback feels with that song, you guys. Oh man, Jessica Simpson has such an underrated voice. Or like when she was popular, I feel like she was so underrated. She's like a powerhouse. I actually have her book. I don't know if I told you guys, my sister got me her autobiography for Christmas and I'm still in the middle of reading it. I literally like read a page of a book and then I fall asleep. That's why I have to now read my Bible in the morning as opposed to the night or else I'll fall asleep, which <laughs> not good so um today has been really good because I did a morning routine 
and I really had to discipline myself because I didn't like my morning. Well, it was okay. I just, I wasn't, I didn't like what I was doing. I was way too like, it was way too much consuming for me like in the morning and I was like, no, this has to stop. Like you're getting into a good morning routine. So I told myself no social media when I wake up. Like you have to wait till later. And the first thing I wanted to do was read the verse on my Bible app. So that's what I did. And then I was like, okay, you're getting up. You literally have to talk to yourself. I was like, you're getting up. <laughs> Oliver is like standing on my makeup desk. Um, then I was like, took my devotional, my daily bread, my Bible and my notebook. And I drank my greens. I sat on my chair, put a blanket on. And I was actually inspired by Maddie Pruitt. Um, I watched her vlog the other day and I was like, I love this. Like, I have to do this. So it was like, read your Bible, pray, worship. Doesn't have to be like this long drawn out thing. My journal, read my daily bread, um, read some of my Bible, prayed, did a worship song. And I was just like, okay, I feel so much better doing this um, as my morning routine. So I'm definitely, definitely have to keep that up and just discipline myself so now I'm actually about so hopefully that like kind of helps you guys too and inspires you I just felt like I was in a rut with my mornings and I did not like it like it didn't make me feel good so I'm like okay you need to get back into it discipline yourself second filming space and I love it um I actually put a light over there to kind of light up the back even though I do have some nice sunlight coming through and I just set up this light here I love these lights you guys I'm so happy with them um, I think I do have to plug that one in though the battery is dying and then I have this My camera my mic all set up. So I'm gonna go ahead and film. I'm doing a like TikTok Trends kind of video today. So I think that should be fun. So I am gonna go ahead and start filming So I just came back from the flea market and I got um I got a couple things for eBay and Poshmark and I did pretty well. I didn't get too much stuff, but some good things I got some like vintage guest jeans some vintage Jordy jeans that have like that high waist I have to wash them all but I have a story time for you guys so I was at I was at this one booth and I'm like incognito today like I have uh, I have hat I have glasses I have like no makeup on cause, oh yeah I went over to this booth and everything was like one dollar and this guy was like do you want to make a hundred dollars really easily and I was like what are you talking about I was like what I was like what do you mean make a hundred dollars and he was like my friend over there and it was like this other booth owner at the flea market is betting me two hundred dollars that um, I can't uh, that I can get your phone number and I was like I look over at the guy at the other booth and he's like recording on his phone he's going this is gonna go on YouTube and I was like uh, I said to the guy who was standing in front of me, I was like, who was the first guy who said the thing about the bet or whatever, and I was like, um, I was like, well, I'm married. I was like, and I was like, he better not be recording me right now. And then the guy, then the guy who told me about this bet thing, he goes to the other guy who was recording. Oh, come on, stupid. Apologize to her. Like, that's a violation of privacy. So the guy's like, oh, okay, no, no, I'm not, or whatever. And I heard some other guy go, oh, take a joke. And I'm like, are these people for real? Like, I'm just trying to, like, shop in peace. Like, just leave me alone. And then I went over to the guy, and I was like, listen, I was like, if you recorded me, I was like, you better delete that right now, or... I was like, you better not have been recording me. And he was like, no, no, I promise, promise you. He's like, there's nothing. I don't have anything. It's deleted. I should have, like, had him literally show me on his phone. I mean, I don't even know if that's allowed. But you're not allowed to record people, like, without their permission. Like, come on, dude. I mean, I know I make videos on YouTube. But that's different. Like, I'm making those videos myself with my own self. Like, it just feels so violating if someone's recording you without your consent or I don't know it was just really strange I was really flustered annoyed <sighs> that happened today I know you guys like my story times my ridiculous things that happened to me like my sister says to me she's like you always have these like wacky stories she's like I don't have any stories I'm like I don't know what it is I just always have like a story of something that happened I mean 
I'm already on YouTube, so if he's gonna post me on YouTube, I mean, whatever, but I'm gonna go, what time is it now? It's 1.43, I'm gonna go get some Dunkin' for me and Nick. I'm gonna go home and eat, I'm starving, and I actually think I wanna vacuum this car. Um, it's so dirty, so I think I'm, I'm gonna do that. So I will see you guys a little bit later. <laughs>